Hi and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM. And today we are going to take a look at our first squad for the Premier League. So if you've been following the uh, episodes, we were promoted to the Premier League this summer. And it's the first time in actually quite a few versions of the game that um, I've been able to do this for Hereford. Yeah, so it's quite exciting. You've got promoted and um, basically I thought we weren't going to have any money to do anything. And, and we don't. We have a massive deficit. But the good news is we're making a profit of about £6 million a month. So within three months, this big deficit is going to be gone. Our transfer budget was £24 million. Uh, we stretched it a little bit. We, we kind of rearranged it a little bit to £26 million. And I'll show you the details in a minute. But naturally... I thought I was going to be good and spread the money equally and stuff, but naturally I spent it all on one player. So we went and got ourselves a new centre-back, Harry Sooth Souter. Um, he's, he plays for Leicester and uh, we, we bought him for 19 million. So that's basically the majority of our budget gone in one player. Let's take a look at the squad as it is. I've, I've already prepared the game for the next match, so there might be a couple of um, youth players in here. Anyway, I've got two brand new new, uh, new keeper. Uh, sorry, brand new goalkeepers. You can see the notes on the side. Uh, whoop, didn't want to do that. Uh, like that. Um, yeah. So we have two goalkeepers, both of them on loan. Anthony Patterson. Anthony Patterson, I should say. From Sunderland so he's on loan I think we have a mandatory fee for him or maybe not but we definitely do have a mandatory fee for Usmain Sidi Bear so we're gonna he's gonna join the club on a permanent uh, deal later on this year but for now he's uh, on loan from Fulham actually so, sorry from Blackburn so those are the two goalkeepers. On the right of defence, there's nothing new, except Cole can now play. Last year he couldn't play because he played for more than one team in the same season. Sorry, more than two teams in the same season. So we have him and we have TJ, who's been around for quite a while now. Uh, in the centre of defence, we have a few changes. So as I mentioned already, Sutar is here, and the other player for that position is Ross Davis. He's been around for a while, and New Journey's actually the captain. In the uh, non nonsense centre back, we have the same two from last year. So Linda, still around, and the other player is Nathan Wood. He's also still around. Uh, in the centre back central defending role we have one new player we have Zahari Vilnov a new gen with a, a lot of potential on a free transfer from Blackburn so that, that was a good deal for us the other player in die is still Max so he's stuck around he actually got a new contract and everything so Max has been with us for a while uh, the left side of the fence, we have one new player, Connor Donnelly. This is only because Harry um, left, so we had to kind of replace Harry. But um, yeah, so we have him, and we still have Charlie Ward, also a Nugent, as well. Those two in the defensive midfield, we have two new players, Elisha. 33 year old player uh, for 2.5 million for Oxair, from Oxair. He's an actual Oxair player presently. And the other player for that position is Emerito, Spanish player, 34 years old from Cadiz. He's on a free transfer. Got those two. Uh, the midfield is also brand new. Um, well, kind of. So one player is back. So Ismail. Is back you might remember him if you've been watching the series so we actually lost him we didn't sell him on purpose to 20 
he didn't renew the contract and he accepted a con an offer from 20 so he left to play in the Netherlands and then we bought him back for 1.5 million and then the other guy is actually more exciting because he's only 18 and he's got a load of potential and he's also Uruguayan so um, a lot a lot of petition potential for this guy so Christian joined from Uruguay and Liverpool for 2 million Right side of attack, the same two. We've, got, we've still got Seb. Uh, he's been with us for donkey's years, on and off. And we still have Limey. Same story for him. He's been with us for donkey's years, on and off. Left side, so the same two. Also, no changes here for a few years now. Riley Owen and Mattia. And in attack, we have one new player. So we still have that exciting, excuse me, attacker, striker, I should say, uh, that we got last year. So he did really well last year, missing out briefly on, I think by one goal, on the goal scorer of the year. Um, so he did really well last year. And then we got someone a bit more experienced just to kind of cover for him, Georgius. 36 years old, played in Atlanta United Celtic. That's where he basically is playing for in real life in Scotland. Greek player, played for lots of different Greek clubs. Brief spelling Poland, Netherlands before Scotland and then the USA in the game. So it's been about the place. So yeah, so that is quite exciting. Lots and lots of different players, different range ranges, like age ranges. Abilities. Um, Yeraki didn't suffer too much with all these changes, so that's okay. We have one new vice captain, made a merit to vice captain because he's obviously uh, got quite good leadership skills. So this is all looking pretty good. Um, finance wise, if we take a brief look at income for the last month, which will be similar to this month, we are making nearly 9 million on TV revenue. Uh, half a million on gate receipts last month. So you're making quite good money. Between that and that is... Uh, merchandise is like basically 10 million a month. We are spending though as well. Quite a lot of, quite a lot of money. Um, don't believe that. That two, 2,000 is probably a fine. I think it's a red card fine. So that's why I've got that on there. Um, yeah, so the player's wages is the biggest wage bill, 1.5 million, but nothing else is really, like, costing anything, which means we have a total, uh, I don't know what's the best way to show you this, but basically every month we're making about 6 million, just over 6 million profit, which means that in three months time, so next time around when I come and show you the winter transfers, this should be a healthy positive figure which will set us up nicely for next year to open up the coffers again and invest in better players again. So that is very good. It's not the only upgrade to the club. So if you look at facilities, I showed you some of this last time, but let me just recap. The stadium was upgraded. It actually has less seats or less capacity, I should say. I don't know how they managed to do this. It has about a thousand more seats, but a reduced capacity. I don't know why. It's a bit strange. I actually noticed in the animation of the stadium, one of the stands is completely empty, even though it still says the stadium's sold out. So I don't know, something weird going on with this. Uh, they uh, they installed under soil heating as well at the same time. Uh, the pitch got made larger for the Premiership as well, but that's just an automatic thing. And then. We are working towards better training facilities, so that this here is going to change to the next stage, whatever the next, I can't remember if it's a state of art yet, but that will be better. The youth level is now one, which means we play, we play in the top leagues for uh, both the under 21s and under 18s as well, I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, this hasn't changed in a while, we have the best academy coaching there can be. But we also improved youth recruitment, and that's now good. It used to be above average, it's now good. So lots of upgrades there. The under 21s, they are currently 16th of their league. If you look at the fixtures, 
They lost two, drew one, won one. The league comprises of 24, so they're kind of middle of the league at the moment. Whilst the under 18s, if we look at the league, they've got one of each a, a draw, a loss, and a win. And they are currently as well middle of the league with one um one game behind some of the other teams. So I think they're okay. They're doing okay. They're, they're not amazing squads, but they're average. I guess I would say. This year I don't really understand what it's saying, but it doesn't translate into the outcome that we get at the end of the year, so I think this is a little bit broken as well. Uh, Staff-wise, this is how it's looking. I don't use a loan manager, so that's vacant. I do use a technical director though, so that's there. Um, yeah, so we basically try to make it as good as possible. We could do with better medical and scouting staff, but this is currently not available to us. No one good enough wants to come, but we do have really good coaching staff. Same for the youth teams as well. There we go. What else can I show you? Da, 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 club info. Emery got made favorite personnel. Not surpri not unsurprisingly, um, he had a really good season last year with lots and lots of goals. Even though he was injured for about, I don't know, I'd say a quarter of it, he was injured. So that's really good to come out and still be uh, fighting for a goal scorer of the season as well. Season tickets are actually above the number of seats that we have, which is, you know, a bit strange. But it does explain why we're selling out the stadiums all the time. Uh, the average season ticket is nearly a thousand pounds. Twenty-nine pounds for an average ticket price. For an uh, sorry, for an average ticket. If I actually go and look at the schedule, so we've played these matches so far. We lost at home against Man United with a sellout stadium. We lost away with Liverpool, and then we drew at home with Newcastle with a sellout stadium. And then we played away with Luton and won for the second round of the Carabao. And then we lost away with Chelsea. For our friendlies, we lost, we didn't play many at home. So that was not a sellout, but nearly. It was away. That's a sellout against Cardiff. And then the rest of it was all away. As well. So nothing to see there. We have a few matches coming up with extra uh, television rights, so that's an additional on top of what we already have a month. So that should be a healthy month. September should be a quite a healthy month because we'll have some extra TV rights as well to come our way. I think we should play a match. We are playing Middlesbrough for the Carabao Cup. I've already made up the team, so let's go ahead and play. This is going to be a tough match. Um, I wouldn't expect us to get through this. Uh, if we look at match stats. Uh, yeah, so it's quite exciting to be playing in the Premier League. Get to actually play the big teams. I think the goal has to be to just stay above the relegation line. Um, I think currently we are in the relegation zone, but like at the top place of that so it the goal needs to be to go as far as possible in the competitions the cups and everything else get as much income from that as possible but actually that's not too critical because we have this massive um television package filling up our coffers with loads of money so so that'll be good I'm actually not in the rush now that we have now that we have that TV package, I'm not in a rush to upgrade the stadium. I mean if it gets upgraded, great. But also upgrading it costs loads of money and maintaining a big stadium also costs loads of money. So I'm not in a rush to invest in that. Um I'm quite happy for us to just absorb all of that money. I will carry on improving facilities though, other facilities. I think that's important for the development of the club. 
but essentially we need to get some good players on but like in a clever way we can't be spending too much money and we can't be offering contracts above our reach as well I'm gonna keep him on for now even though he's injured to get Emre in, fresh legs, and it says it has to come off, but I don't think he has to come off, I think we can do some shenanigans here, and just get him to play on the other side for a bit, and then get him off later on. He's not doing amazing, but he's not too badly either. Um, also, we don't really have substitutes for that position, so all we have is a few um, youth players that I just managed to wrangle up. So the, the replacements wouldn't be better than him playing injured. I know it has an impact on him playing injured, like might extend his injury, but the substitutes are more of a um, last resort sort of thing. Okay, we'll get him off now. And we will also bring... Who do we want to bring on? I think we want to bring on Max. Uh, yeah, okay, let's do that. That's a pretty good cross, actually. It's a shame the other guy didn't get there. Second goal here, but it might be offside. Looks like it's offside. VAR check. So this is all commonplace now in every single match. And these VAR checks in the Premier League. Now, I just wanted to take the time to thank you for following if you are following to follow um for following the um series until now you know we finally made it this is kind of the achievement and that you know that little achievement that pops up in the corner of the screen that celebrating going from the bottom of the english system to the top of the english system this is kind of what we play what i play for football manager small little hereford club with semi-professional players with almost zero budget and bring them all the way to the Premier League and not embarrass ourselves too much and have millions in the bank hopefully by the winter so this is it this is kind of what we play for and it'll be exciting I don't know how much time I'll have between now and the beta for the new game but I want to get into the European champion, European Cup competitions. Obviously, it's not realistic for the next season. But if I manage to get time to play one more season. Uh, well, two more seasons in this case. So one more season to, you know, have better players and actually finish. Uh, either, like, go through it in the Carabao Cup or um, finish in the top position. So we can get access to the... European competitions and then another league to actually play those so we'll see if I have time to play at least two or three more league, more um, seasons and get to see Hereford competing in an year in a European um, competition that would be the ultimate obviously the ultimate of the game is to play in the world like the in the, in the club's World Cup but I don't think I'll have enough time for that so we'll um, 
we'll have to wait. Alright then, next match is Cardiff. So this is us knocked out of the Carabao Cup. And um, we'll have to look into Cardiff next. Thanks so much for watching until the end. I will crack on with the rest and I'll catch you on the next one for the transfer review in the winter. Take care. Bye-bye.